Welcome back. Today, we're going to do a bit more of a lighthearted video where you're going to learn about 10 really random science facts, including why you're nothing but a butt. One, dinosaurs were fluffy. Despite how dinosaurs are often depicted in movies and TV shows, they actually would have been partially fluffy. Fossil finds over the recent decades have shown that many dinosaurs, including Velociraptor, actually were feathered or had some kind of primitive feathering known as dino fuzz, or more precisely, protofeathers. Of the three main dinosaur clades, we have evidence of feathers in two of them. I mean, the living descendants of theropod dinosaurs, birds, have feathers. So it's not surprising that some of their ancestors did too or at least a primitive form of them. And in fact, we actually have some fossils that were good enough that we could figure out the color of some of these dinosaurs, like these guys. Whilst they're not as scary as T-Rex, I think they're cool nonetheless. Two, the N in MRI. You might think that I've made a typo in the script and a letter is missing, but this is not the case. Most of us are familiar with MRI scanners, large medical devices that give us more detail than your traditional x-ray. MRI, or magnetic resonance imaging, is based off a technique known as nuclear magnetic resonance, or NMR. This is a technique that uses powerful magnets to probe the inner environments of chemicals and can even tell us the structure of them. It was thought that people would be too scared to get scanned by a machine that had nuclear in the name, despite it not actually producing any radiation, so they dropped the N, hence the N in MRI. Three, backup dancing birds. To say that the mating behavior of some birds is unusual would be quite the understatement. From pupil dilation, to nest building, to even moonwalking, Male birds can go all out to impress the female. Amongst these unusual tactics is that of the lance-tail mannequin. These birds perform rehearsed dances in groups for a female, with only one alpha getting the chance to mate if all goes well. There are multiple beaters who are just there for support, though a beater is more likely to become an alpha in the long run than a solo bird, so I guess they all get their turn. Four, submarines don't sink. Most of us are familiar with the basics of how submarines operate. Valves are opened that allow water to fill ballast tanks so the submarine can slip below the waves. However, they don't actually sink when they do this. Submarines, when their ballast tanks are full, have about the same density as the water that surrounds them, and in fact use motors and their hydroplanes to change depth. Hydroplanes, look like mini wings, and help direct the flow of water around the submarine. Well, if they spring a leak though, then they might go the way of a particularly coloured submarine. Five, helium was first discovered in the sun. Electronic emission and absorption from different elements and molecules is the foundation of modern day spectroscopy. For a given element, you can excite it using various wavelengths of light. When a photon of the right wavelength hits an atom, then it can be absorbed and the molecule becomes excited. Likewise, an excited molecule can relax and give off a photon. Each element absorbs and emits at various unique wavelengths. This gives us characteristic absorption and emission spectra that can tell us what we're looking at. For example, sodium is known for its characteristic orange bands. We're all familiar with this image. However, when you do this for sunlight, there are various dark bands that correspond to the absorption of different elements that make up the sun. Helium is abundant in the sun, even though it's a limited resource here on Earth. And on the 18th of August, 1868, a bright yellow band was observed during a solar eclipse. Originally thought to be sodium, it turned out that that band belonged to an element that hadn't yet been discovered. This element was given the name helium after the Greek word helios for sun. 
6, 15 seconds of space. You'll probably lose consciousness after only about 15 seconds in space. You might think that because you can hold your breath longer on Earth, that you might at least last a bit longer in space. However, this is not the case. Unfortunately, if you find yourself without a spacesuit in the vast expanse of our universe, don't count on being able to hold your breath. The pressure from inside your lungs compared to the near vacuum of space around you would force almost all the air from your body. And unlike going for a dive in a pool, without the air in your lungs, you'll lose consciousness very quickly and your brain will begin to die. However, on a positive note, this is at least a scenario many of us will not face in our daily routines. Seven, you are nothing but a butt. A deuterostome is a major animal group where the first thing to develop in the embryo is a single opening that later becomes the butt. At this stage of development, no other specialized parts have yet formed, so this is all that exists. We are deuterostome animals, which means that all people at one point were just an embryo with a rear end. You were nothing but a butt. Eight, bird facial recognition. Birds can be counted amongst the more intelligent life on this planet. Well, most of them. And along with their intelligence, many birds can recognize different individuals, not just of each other, but of different species, including humans. Birds such as crows and ravens have all displayed advanced problem solving skills, including even an understanding of basic fluid mechanics. So some kind of facial recognition is not too surprising. However, even pigeons, who are not always seen as the brightest of birds, can recognize familiar humans. Studies have shown that crows and ravens can even hold grudges that last years. However, on a positive note, even the infamous swooping Australian magpie is capable of making lifelong friends. Nine, black holes to heat your room. The common view of black holes is, well, exactly that, a black hole. Objects go in, but nothing comes out. So it's understandable if you would expect them not to radiate heat. And in fact, this is what scientists suspected for a long time. However, it didn't turn out to be the actual case. Black holes do in fact emit Hawking radiation, named after the late Stephen Hawking. And as a result, they do in fact have a temperature, just a low one. The smaller the black hole, the higher the temperature. So a microscopic black hole would provide enough heat to keep you nice and toasty and still fit inside your room. How small, you ask? Well, to keep your average size room warm, it'd need to have a diameter of about 10 to the minus 24 meters. To give you an idea of just how small that is, that's 10 orders of magnitude smaller than a proton. So you don't have to worry about it messing with your decor. A major benefit of this rather ludicrous heater is that throwing objects into gravitational wells is extremely energy efficient. Though I wouldn't get your hopes up about throwing rubbish into a black hole to keep your room warm anytime soon. 10. Sea lions can dance. Dancing was long thought to be something that only humans did. Whilst choreographed dancing is unique to humans, the ability to keep a beat isn't. Keeping a beat has been observed in animals capable of vocal mimicry. Parrots being the go-to example. Vocal mimicry is where an animal copies the sounds of its surroundings or of a different species. And it's been hypothesized that it's this trait that was somehow connected to dancing. However, like many things in science, there can always be exceptions. And in this case, it's the Californian sea lion. Researchers at the University of Santa Cruz have trained a sea lion to dance in time with music, opening the possibility that dancing in the animal kingdom is far more common than we expected. And in this case, I think this sea lion is a better dancer than most people I know.
Hopefully, you all learnt something new, and you found these 10 really random science facts interesting. If you did, don't forget the usual like and subscribe below. And what I'm going to do in this case is at the end of the month, I'm going to make scientific videos on the two most liked comments below, no matter what they are. So don't forget to leave your suggestions below and like anything that you want to see. Remember, I'm almost a doctor, and until next time, be like a proton. Stay positive. <laughs>